I have actually made a variation of this video before, but if you want to add buttons to an accordion block, it's slightly different now. So what I want to do is just update that video and I'm going to show you how to set up the accordion block, how to add the link in, how to add a button in, and then how to customize that button because you can't just manually add a button into an accordion block on Squarespace. We have to do this slightly annoying work around, but once you know how to do it, it's super easy to implement and I'm going to show you how to do it in the simplest and quickest way. Let's get started. So what we want to do is find out which page we want to add our accordion to. So I'm going to add it just to the home page. You can select whatever page you want. We click edit and then we're going to add our accordion in. So we'll probably just add a new section, nice blank one, add a block, add an accordion. We'll drag that out and there we go. So let's say it's an FAQ for instance. We double click and we ask a question. So how cool is Sam? Obviously the description is Sam is very cool. And then let's say we want our button to direct somewhere. So we say, see how cool Sam is. We're going to make that a link. So add a link and then we'll just link to bycrawford.com. Now, if it's an external link, always has to be open in new tab. So there we go. We've got our link, but here obviously it doesn't show as a button, nor does it show with an underline, which is a really strange design choice from Squarespace. But Whatever, if you want to make it underlined, literally just underline it. In fact, I'm going off on a tangent here, but if you want to make it clear to your users that there is a link here, just highlight, click underline, and then you can see it there. But that's not what this video is about. So we've got our link and we want to change it into a button. So you see here, you know, we want people to see how cool I am. So scroll down to website tools and then custom CSS. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call this make accordion block links into oh my goodness i can't spell links into buttons there we go and then what we want to do is find out what the accordion is uh, in terms of a class so i'm going to click shift command and c to open up google chrome developer tools and then i want to find out what the accordion is so let's find that okay so it looks like it's this sqs block accordion so i'm going to copy that and then We'll go back into here. So paste that in, open and close squiggly brackets. And then within that, we want to say A, which is a link, open up some more brackets. And then we want to say, let's open this up so you can see border solid. And then we'll say 1px. Okay, now we've got the start of our button. So under this, we're going to put padding. And then realistically, we want more padding on the sides than we do on the top. So to do that, we'll say 10px, 5px. And you can see, again, we've got some decent buttonage going on. And now we want to add some interactivity. So we'll say, and hover, background, and then we'll say black. And then when we hover, you can see it turns black. Then we need to change the color of the text to white. So F, 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 always lose count. And when we do that, you can see, lovely jubbly. Now maybe we just want to add a very subtle transition. So we'll say transition 0 0.2 seconds. And then if we're going to do that, we want it on here as well. So you can see nice and smooth. And now I'm looking at it, I kind of want more padding to the sides. Let's say 15. Also, I've just realized I was being stupid at the beginning. And I said that I wanted more padding on the sides than I did on the top. And yet I gave it more padding on the top than I did at the sides. So realistically, uh, 10, this does the top and the bottom, uh, 15 does the sides. So yeah, realistically, uh, you want around 10 on the top, 15 on the sides. And then if on your website, you have, you know, a different style of button, maybe it's not square, then what we can do is say border radius, and then we can give that a radius of, let's say 10 PX that changes. And then we can go crazy 50. That gives us a full pill. But much like the padding, we can change every single corner. So let's say 50px and then 0px, and you can see the contrast like so. But then you can do each corner individually. So 50px, 0px like this. And let's change this to 20. Let's change that to 20 and let's change that to 10. So you can have the most disfigured buttons in the world if you wish. But basically, you can control every single corner. And there we go. So... What we've done is we've targeted the accordion and a link within the accordion. We've given it a border. We've given it some padding. We've given it a transition. We can change the border radius if we wish. And then we've added a hover effect here. Now, just a quick one. If you wanted to change the color of the border, then you could just add that to the end there. So let's just say I want to change it to some form of yellow. So FFD 600. 
change that. And then we can use what we have in here if we want to customize the color that it goes initially. So background could be, let's just say red, and then color could be blue. And then we give that important. And you can see when we hover, it changes. And because we've given this important, we need to give this important too. So it actually changes. There we go. So that is how you fully customize a button within an accordion on your Squarespace website. If you found this useful and you'd like me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.